I guess we just spent some time talking to Hugh. Um, yeah. What have you maybe learned about him through spring ball and just trying to build off of his first season as a starter? Uh, yeah, he's very versatile. You know, he can do a lot of things for you. Uh, he's got a good get off. He's he's very talented. You know, um, and for being an older guy, he's very coachable. That's what I like about him too. Him. Like he listens. He, you know, tries to do what you're telling him to do, and he's. Uh, Seems like, seemed to be a very humble kid, too. Or a kid, she's yeah. a couple of years younger than me. But, you know, he's a, I really like you. I yeah. enjoy you. So, very, very obviously mature guy for the yeah. team, just obviously with his age and stuff. But I, I'm a big fan of his. Is this a first for you, a 30 year old? I've had older guys, like my first time coaching special teams at Sam Houston. I think I was like 25 or something, and our punter was 26. So he was a little bit older than me. So, He's, he liked to remind me of that, uh, you know. So, yeah, some of those guys are older just yeah. the, way, the way it is. But, yeah, it's probably the first 30-year-old I've coached. How much of what he did last year have you watched? Have you watched a lot of the film or mm-hmm. on you? Have you? Okay. Mm-hmm. Are there things you can see on film that you can maybe correct with you, you know, without seeing him, seeing him in person or no? Uh, you know, I think, uh, I mean, obviously there's a learning curve okay. when you're playing fo- – you know, American football for the first time. Uh, I've had, I've coached a few Australians, and most of them continually get better as okay. it goes on just because you think about it, most of those guys grow up playing Australian rules mm-hmm. football or rugby or whatever, and, um, you know, they don't put American football pads on. They don't put the helmet on. It's different. There's not a rut. It's just, it's just a different deal, so it's just a learning curve, you know, so – I, all those guys I've had have got way better from year one to year two. So hopefully, and I thought he had a good year last year. But hopefully, we can continue to make that you know that stride. And he will. He's he's done a, he's done a great job in the spring. I've asked him. I asked him what was the most important stat for a punter. To you, what's the most important? If there's one stat that kind of rises above the rest for you, what's what's critical or the most important? The net punt of the team. Okay. okay. Yeah. So it's all. I'd much rather have a. 40-yard punt with really good hang time than a 47-yard line drive, okay. especially if you're playing against a really good returner. So, uh, the, you know, how how much you flip the field. And then, obviously, situational football, too, like backed-up punts and pooch punts. Those are those count for more. So being being good in those scenarios. Well, on the topic of punters, I've said like, with Declan being a lefty, it comes off different. Um, can you break down maybe what's different about well, it just spins the other way. Like yeah. you're trying to catch it, it just spins the other way, and then when it doesn't turn over, it's going to end up coming back the other side. So it's good for our returners to get that work okay. too. So, yeah. you know, I'm sure we'll play a lefty or two, and you know, you typically do, but it, it's it's a different spin. Okay. So yeah, it's, it's definitely different. So, but he's having a really good spring as well. So okay. yeah, yeah, fire about him. Has he coordinated with Coach B about? what they want in the return game um, yet? Or do you feel like that's coming? Like, kick return, are you going to wave your hand? Or, or do you do you kind of want to get it and go? No, we want to be aggressive. Okay. I, we see that as first play offense. You know, as a, I don't think you're ever going to find a special teams coordinator that's going to say, like, yeah, I would like to fair catch this, <laughs> you know? So, you know, if, I, if, if there's ever a time, obviously, head coach tells me to do it, we'll do it. But I don't. We ain't going down that road unless we have to. So, we, you, I mean, you want to be aggressive on it, you sure. know. It's The way I look at it is on offense, a good play is you get a really fast guy the ball in space, right? Well, that's every return. So why would you not try to take advantage of it, you know what I mean? So I think you just have enough pride in yourself that you're going to have good field position and, you know, get your guys to buy in. But, no, it's, it's, and it's something they got to defend too, right? right? I think if you just go out there and – play a team that's going to fair catch every time, well, okay, how much are we going to work kickoff this week? Let's spend five more minutes trying to block your punt. You know what I mean? It's right. just, I don't know. That That's just the way I look at it. But, he, I, yeah, I think he wants to be aggressive with it too. It seems like we know a lot about Tip in the tight end room, mm-hmm. but who do we, what do we need to know about the guys maybe behind him um, and kind of what they've done this spring? Yeah, that's, that's a good question. Um, you know, Griffin's had a good spring. Uh, you know, he's, he's athletic. He's a really good pass catcher. He's come a long way in the run game, too. Okay. Uh, you know, I know being a high school quarterback, that's a little <laughs> foreign for him, you know. So he's progressed in that. Uh, Henry Boyer is an, an incredibly tough kid. Uh, and he's gotten a lot better, too. And he's 
he's a big time asset in the run game. And he's gotten better as a receiver as, can, as spring ball is going on. So excited about him. Um, you know, and, and Tanner Arkin has been a little bit hobbled lately. Okay. Just, but he's been he's been really really good with in practice. Really incredibly intelligent kid and. Uh, you know, he he's been back in practice the last couple of times. He just missed a couple, but sure. he he's really he's he's going to be an asset for us. Really smart kid, tough kid, understands it. You can tell he's been coached well. Um, you know, and you know, uh, Schultz just moved over. He's yeah. he's gotten way better yeah, as right. it's gone. Okay. Yeah, he's a tough kid. I like him. Um, you know, and Owen Anderson's done it. Climbed a bunch. He's done really well. He's caught a ton of balls. I think he's our leading receiver for tight ends. Oh, wow. He's he's done a great job, uh, you know. And Nate Ginn is young; he should still be in high school, and he's he's getting better every day. Yeah. You know, it's it's it, he adds value in different ways, pass game stuff like that. And obviously, he's getting better every day in the run game. But I like those. I think I think they'll all be able to help us somehow, some way. So